Hello, queens and kings. It's Dana Stewart Coats Antique Jewelry. I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. I'm actually doing an unboxing for you. You know, just about every day of the week, well, most companies here, especially Royal Mail, don't deliver on Sundays. But on Saturdays, I usually get a slew of packages, things that were meant to come in on Friday. Uh, let's take the camera down. I think that's a pretty good angle. And I'll show you. Um, not quite good enough, is it? I'll show you my first package. This is from auctions that I've won recently. And actually things that were meant to be here for last week. But I swear with the Royal Mail strikes, we're still suffering. Especially Royal Mail postage is still behind. So, I'm going to struggle, but I'll get this open for you. Oh, goodness. I certainly wanted to make sure that it got here intact. Oh, that is appreciated. Y'all think I tape. <laughs> yeah. I, I sometimes wonder when I'm taping your packages up. Have I used too much tape or enough tape? Because they are shipping here from England to wherever you live in the world. I'm sure that tape sounds not very ASMR. But trust the process. Some phenomenal peacock pearls. Fifty-six grams charm bracelet. This one is. I don't think it says. Ninety-five grams. Now, of course, you're gonna see things that I haven't cleaned yet. Oh, here's a cool eight bracelet. Once we open it, once we take it all out, this one is 95 grams. Yeah, I, I like the big ones. You know that. This one is 60 grams. So, you'll get to see all of these before I clean them up. And just exactly 54 grams. On this one, oh, okay, I remember this. Some beautiful bits. Oh, my! 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 Oh,
Oh my. Those, that's a cameo bracelet. Uh, another charm bracelet. 95 grams. Seems like that's like a, a thing, 95 grams. Now, gosh, I hope these made it okay. Last week I had cameos. This week I'm going to offer some beautiful trinket boxes. Look at this one. I saw that. Yeah, and I thought, yes, yes, yes. A silver Vesta case. And if you don't know what that's for, matches. Um, oh gosh, I forget what kind of stone this is. I'll think of it. Ah, this is Lamont. I'll show you that. That likely came with perfume. Cool. A souvenir box from Rome. Vintage, of course. This one is cool. It's brass and mother of pearl. Another stone box that looks almost like a banded agate. That's all shell and brass. Oh, isn't she lovely? This is either silver or silver plated but very tarnished. I think it's silver. Can't really make out the marks. We'll look at that on camera. Oop. There's more. It's like damascene. Enamel. Solid brass and a, a glass cabochon. This one's cool. Needs cleaned up desperately, but it's still very cool. The cameo. Probably 1970s representation of an Art Deco lady. More stone. Nearly there. Right, ceramic or porcelain. I'll tell you once we open it. That one I believe is porcelain or ceramic. One more. Solid brass. Oh, made in USA. Tokalon, but definitely, definitely vintage. Possibly antique. Oh, yes, antique. It's a little powder compact. Very cute. They'll all be fantastic ones for clean. So let's start and tackle these bags. This one was 95 grams. Wow. I 
it's uh, Westminster, and it opens to the throne or or, or bishop's chair, whatever it is. I think it's the, what they use to coronate royalty. Another um, traveler caravan, a London policeman, a throne, an owl, an archer. I'm not sure what that one says. That's definitely one that opens as well. That's a little monkey. Aw, it's like one of those old um, circus. An iron. A trombone. I love the opening ones. They just fascinate me. That says something very tiny. Oh, it's our father. Cool. A magic carpet. A kangaroo. The White House? Wow. Someone traveled. Big, huge vintage basket. A cat and a fiddle. I wonder if that's like fairy tale. A uh, husband and wife, or bride and a groom. Westminster, and that's its back. We're back. That's, that's incredible. Oh, and there's a lot of that. So clear some of these boxes out of the way so we can take a look at them. This one's 56 grams. I don't want to leave them in a pile so I can put them back in the bag. Oh, I remember this one. Witch on a broom, a tall ship. Those are usually travel. Balmoral, St. Christopher, a camel, a windmill that moves, a car that I'm sure opens. I think that's why I bought it. I mean, one of the reasons I bought it. Of course. An English rose. A Highlander. A red coat. A traveler's caravan. I'm sure that opens up. Straighten that out. It's got a little, little dink in it. Doink. A donkey. A Highlander dancing. I think that's um, Queen's Castle. Holland. A little enamel bell. A slipper. Which one? Oh, we're back. And we're back. 
It's a lot of content there for 56 grams. Certainly. We'll start with the charm bracelets. Then I'll open the other bit. This one is 54 grams. Well, I did buy some hearts, so if you wanted a heart closure, that's not a problem. That looks Native American, like a totem pole, a spinning wheel. That looks sort of like a pilgrim tall hat. Torquay, which is where I live. A cool carriage. An anchor. Well, where I live is a very big vacation destination, so. A lady, puffy hearts that we love, puffy hearts. A little Bible that looks like it may open. Yep. With the verse. A horseshoe. Bagpipes. A pixie. The queen. Belgium. A spinning wheel. An elephant. A fleur de lis. <laughs> it's a little bear or a little pig. I think it's a little bear. Lost my place. A little bear. A Highlander. Oh, yep. Yeah. A windmill, oh, no windmills on it though. That happens with the ones that are exposed. A harp. Windsor from Windsor Castle. Another little pixie. I'm not sure what that guy is. Almost looks like a waiter. And a vintage aeroplane. Elizabeth looks very young, so I would date this one to at least the 1950s. It looks very kitsch, looks very 50s. Okay. There are more. This one is 60 grams. Oh, wow. That has a cool dog clip. This is a bigger bracelet. Little bell. Vintage typewriter. An elephant. What's that one? A pixie. Pixies are very big here. A bobby, you know, in British police officer. A car, a vintage car, very vintage. Um, a silver heart. I have to look in the camera to make sure I'm showing you. A teapot. A merry-go-round that I know spins. That's why I bought it, yes. A lantern. I think that's a vegetable cart, a football, another teapot, that's Celtic, another pixie, a mug, a carriage, it's usually open as well, where the wheels go. A sailboat. It's a little frog. Oh, it's, it's a prince. It's a prince frog. Love it. 
to frog with the crown. And a, a little jug, a little jug water vessel, and a horseshoe. Hopefully there's one here that speaks to you. I keep them all. <laughs> what would I do with them? Oh, this one. This one's a proper antique. Oh, my goodness. Now, first off, it has a heart. Heart lock. A wishing well. I don't think I can get that open without breaking a nail, but there's definitely something in there. Some anniversary bells. A porcupine, which we don't see many here on the coast. Um, these usually say a name. Let's pull that back and look what that says. Oh, no. It says, I love you. Bicycle with the movable, movable wheel, of course. A tortoise, or tortoise, as they say here. Rings. A jug that opens an urn. A big hair. Bunny rabbit with long ears, a Toby jug, and an acorn. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. There's more. Oh my. Uh, let's see. Which one is this? Why is weight not on that one? I can pull the scale out. Just off camera there. I put it on there before it was ready. Fifty-five point eight. Oh, this one's unclasped with a heart. Of course, I check all the hearts to make sure they work correctly. I think that's a whistle. I'm not sure. Yes. That's a whistle. A little bell. A pixie. A traveler. You can tell I love the or is that a traveler or no, no, no. It's a little. Um, I think it's an organ grinder cart. So it probably opens up and Yep, organ grinder cart has a monkey. A bottle of champagne. An elephant. A slipper. Two fish, probably Pisces. Ah. There's a doe and a fawn. There it is. A little ducky. A windmill with its wheels attached. A porcupine. A revolver. Cool. Going back. 
the heck? Oh, that's a travel travel trailer. Just um like a little pull along. Yep. What's next? Revolver. A poodle. Tresca, they're Tresca something. It's from the Isle of Man. They're meant to be for travelers and palm trees. All of these are going, now the revolver, other than the revolver, they're all going to be pretty much British themed because here I am in England. And I mean, you could buy American charm bracelets anywhere. British ones weren't so easy to get a hold of. And if you collect charm bracelets, isn't it nice to have more than one? I'll get another big date bracelet. It's one, two, three, four, five, six gate. I love them because this is about 17 or 18 grams, which isn't really heavy, but they're so well made that they last forever. And if you want that silver present, it's, it's a fantastic bracelet. I own several. Uh, this one is, oh, Needs weighed. I will wait for the scale this time. Mine's sixty one thirty three. See when I told you I had a bunch of charm bracelets come in, I thought you thought I was kidding. Um no. Okay, there's a heart. That looks like a baseball cap to me of some sort. A passport. It looks like it opens up. Is it a British one? Should be. It is, of course. This is so, so cool. Look. A knight. Little booby shoes. Oh, there's something missing there. Well, I have charms. We can put something there. I love you. <laughs> A vintage projector. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's got a scantily clad woman in there. A miner's lantern, hope, faith, and charity. This comical looking cat, I remember this one. A pail, a stein that opens. Wow, um, that's Mercury and all of his business. Okay. <laughs> Mercury and his bits. Uh, a mosque. And a person praying. Worshipping. And what's this last one? Pied Piper. Very cool. Okay. Um, that's the charm bracelets for now. <laughs> I think we have enough. Yeah. Ah, cameo lot. Sterling. 
one. And pour some. And then, yay! We have Cameo Silver Rings back. Oh, at least a few of them. Mark aside. Looks like I'm going to need to replace a couple mark aside, a few mark aside there. Well, I'm going to clean them anyway. If there's anything loose, I'll reattach it. And I loved the cameo and mark aside earrings. And yes, they're pierced. Now, I'm not a huge clip on fan. They have to be really comfortable for me to be able to wear them. But what I can wear are the screw back earrings. And I suggest that, you know, you don't have to buy them for me, but buy a pair, especially a heavy earring, and try it. You'll never look back. They don't pull on your ears. They're not painful. And you can adjust them any way you want them. It's my favorite earring. And this is also a cameo lot. Absolutely, I'll have to get the gold tested on it. Because it's definitely at least gold filled. But a beautiful three graces. And this one is Three Graces on Jet. Who doesn't love a bit of Jet Stone? Now, this lot I bought for this fabulous cameo bracelet. And we know these double links are Art Deco. Oh, it doesn't have a clasp. Oh, this looks like a hook. We'll sort that out. So, oh, let's not forget the pearls. I was going to say, likely the next time you see all of these things, they're, they're going to look a lot different because I'm going to clean them all. These are heavy. Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, because they're flapper length infinity. Peacock pearls. Absolutely gorgeous. Lovely way to end. Well, guys, that was just one auction bag. I hope you enjoyed opening it as much as I did and stop back and if you haven't already subscribe like and share my videos and my channel thanks very much have a great rest of your day